I'm going to show you how you can add an auto filter to a table so that you're able to type in the values rather than select them from the drop down list. The other day I was working for a gentleman and he had uh, in his situations, he had a number of locations and a number of uh, staff that that went with each location. But what I have here is the list of uh, locations for schools in Alberta, and I have the schools that are that are in each location. Now, I'm usually all about tables. So if we go into here and we drop the list down, so I've in, I've selected the data and gone to the insert tab and inserted a table. So I've inserted just inserted a table, and then it brings you the automatic drop down here so that you're able to select from the long list. Now I have a long list of names to select from, so uh, it gets to be a little bit dreary to try to find exact places. Now, the same thing goes for um, the school names here. There is uh, 2,400 or 2,500 school names here that you have to go through to find the exact one. Now, what I have done here is I have given you um, the opportunity to type in the um, the location in the cell above, and then I have a a button here to search by that location. So let's type in um, Edmonton. And press the uh, search by location button here. And you you can bring up all the Edmonton schools. Now, that one is not as bad. So I'm going to clear this. And then I have to click the drop down here and select all so that we get them all. So if you were looking for one particular school, then you you typed you'd wanted to type it in. You could go um, center high. And you would find that there it was exactly in Edmonton. And it's much easier than having to drag through 2,500 names to find out the, the location of the school. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this. And then I'm going to select all for the filter here. The other thing that's good about this is that you don't need to know the entire name. So let's put in Hilltop. And I'm not sure what the rest of it is, so I'm going to put a wild card. And it'll happily search for all the schools that start with the word Hilltop. So I'm going to go search. And there we have, we have, we actually have three. One in Drumhill, or one in Whitecourt, and one in Fort, uh, Fort Vermilion. So the wild card, and just having to type in part of the name, is an extra bonus. And you can, and that works, of course, in both of them. So um, I can type in. Uh, I'm trying to hit the word Beaumont, but um, so let's say I don't know how to spell Beaumont, and so I am going to put the wild card in here, which is Shift 8 or the star key, and I'm going to go find location. And there you have my Beaumont that's coming up here. So let me show you how I did this. So the code is pretty straightforward. I'm going filter by B. And B is my location. And so I'm um, I'm selecting a data sheet as worksheet. Data sheet is the worksheet, sheet two. Um, data sheet filter mode fault. So what I'm doing is while I'm running this, I'm turning off the filters that are on the table automatically. And then I'm doing data sheet um, B4. So that's the first line of the data. Auto filter field one criteria uh, criteria equals whatever the value is in in um, B1, and then uh, 
then I do N sub and I do the exactly same thing for the C column and I it's pretty straightforward I have it filtered by C once again data sheet is worksheet 2 data sheet auto filter is false so I've turned off the filters and I've filtering by C4 which is the first um, first field in the um, in the range and then I'm filtering by whatever is in uh, C1. So that is how you add an auto filter to a table. That is how you add an auto filter to a table. I will of course include the, the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.